Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Sorry, it's been two weeks since I've released a video. I uh, I did actually record a video or two in the in the intervening period, but uh, they weren't very good, and uh, they were kind of troubleshooting videos, and I sort of figured out what the problem was, and there wasn't really much to show you. So um, I thought I'd, I thought I'd do a quick video today. Um, I got a package arrived from China. It's my AliExpress order. They had a um, a sale just recently, so I took the opportunity to pick up a whole bunch of you know consumables, <laughs> some uh, uh, some cheap tools, you know. Uh, anyway, I'll show you. We'll, we'll go through the box, the bag together, and uh, and see what's arrived from China. Um, I've got a new uh, welcome cam. The welcome cam used to be against that wall, uh, but now it's up here. It gives you a better view of the lab. This was uh, a result of a discussion with my brother, uh, and he thought that it would be better to have the lab in the background than the shutters in the background, on the basis that the lab's more interesting and sort of more on point for the video. So uh, thanks to my brother for that one. And we've 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 got the new thing now. I've been fooling with the cameras. I had a complaint about the video quality from one of my viewers on the YouTube channel. Um, and I am sorry about that. I know it's not particularly good. Uh, in the, uh, As a result of that, I did review some of the settings and I, I think I've managed to increase the quality just a little bit, um, but it's not 4K. Regrettably, I can't do 4K yet. I have 4K cameras, so the cameras can do 4K, but my computer, when it tries to record 4K video, it just can't keep up and the frame rate goes like really bad, like one frame every five seconds. So like it's it's a really terrible frame rate. Um, so uh, standing by for the new computer, I've spec'd out a new computer, which is going to sit in the corner of my uh, lab over here and replace all of this. Uh, well, replace my Dell OptiMax, which is that little guy sitting there. Um, it's going to be really beefy. It's going to have lots of USB, high-speed USB ports for all of the cameras. Um, so it should be really good. Uh, but I have to save up like ten thousand dollars so I can buy it. That's a bit of an exaggeration. It's more like six six grand, six thousand Aussie dollars. Which for me is a lot of money at the moment. I, I haven't got that to spare just yet, so I'll have to save up for that. And I am saving up for that, but it might be a little while before I have the uh, the high quality video happening. So I've managed to increase the video quality on the bench up to just a bit over full HD, which is 1080p. So this is uh, just a bit higher, um, 2000 and something by something and something. I forget the details. Uh, anyway, it's a bit higher on the bench, and this doesn't sort of really matter very much. So um, anyway, look, today is going to be uh, going through this bag to see what arrived from China. So um, let's see how we go with that. Uh, I've got some scissors down here, so let's get into it. Can you see? Yeah, you can kind of see. I, uh, I like it when uh, Dave Jones from the EEV blog does his unboxings, um, because he has that huge um, knife, which always reminds me of Crocodile Dundee. Looks like something fell out of its bag there. Oh, look at that. Okay, that might have been what fell out of the bag. I'll just get all this stuff out, and then we'll... Pop it over to the bench and we'll have a look at it one by one. It's like Christmas time, isn't it? I got all sorts of little bits and pieces. All right. Now I dropped something at the back here. Let's have a look at that first. Let's put you over on the bench. All right. I'll keep those because we might need them. All right. Now, okay. This is a voltmeter and ammeter. Might as well pop it out of the bag, why not? So it comes with a couple of cables. I've got a bunch of these, um, but this was on sale, so I got another one. They can be pretty handy to pop into your circuit because it'll tell you um, how much voltage and how much amp, uh, current, how much current there is. Um, and it comes with the, the bits and pieces to plug it in. So we'll just put him away in the drawer. I'll get the drawer. This is the drawer. It says on the front. Uh, can you see that? Digital meter, it says. Digital meter. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I've got a bunch of them, and now I've got one more. So that's good to have. Now, these are pretty cool. I only discovered these recently. Um, but these are, um, are for joining wires together. Um, they're basically uh, heat shrink, um, but they've got a little blob of solder in the middle. So um, you just stick the two wires in and then heat it up, and the solder melts to the wire, and the heat shrink insulates it. So they're pretty handy to have. Now, what am I going to do with all of this stuff? I don't want to uh, spend my time filing it while I'm on the camera with you. There is a there is a whole box up there. Maybe I'll use that. I don't know. All right, well, we'll just put it in here for now. Now, what else have we got? Oh, this is, again, the same as I just showed you, except it's got uh, it's got more um, sizes. Let's take him out. Um, we'll just pop him open. There we go. 
So this is the same thing as, as I just showed you, except um, that rather than just having the, the size with the red, I've got larger blues and yellows and some smaller white ones. So these are just for joining wires together. You stick a wire in each side. Whoops. Geez, you can't take me anywhere. I've dropped my thing and I can't see it. Oh, there it is. All right. I'm not sure where I'm going to keep these yet, but uh, that's a good problem to have. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Now, these are JST, um, but I'm not sure what type of JST. Uh, I forget. Um, XH. JST XH. So, that's what these are. Um, I've got a, a stray tab, we'll put him out of the way. Now, um, these are designed to uh, solder into a board for the receptacle, and then um, they've got some crimps here, and you, you can crimp uh, a plug um, to go into the receptacle. And obviously, they've got two, three, four, five, there we go, two, three, four, five um, sockets. So that's what those are, uh, JST XH. Ah, now this is just a, 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 a leverage tool. It's, a, it's for pulling nails out, basically. Um, I thought it would be handy to have him in the toolbox. So I got him for a couple of bucks. Uh, so obviously you can just go in there and leverage things off, and then you can come in this way and leverage things off. So it's a, it's a leverage tool. I guess I'll keep him there. Now, looks like some telescopic bits, doesn't it? Uh, what does it say here? Three pieces, hexagonal, quick release. I just saw a spider or something. Did you see that? Excuse me. There's something crawling around on my bench and I can't see it anymore. I hope it doesn't bite me. All right. Um, uh, yeah, so these are just uh, telescopic bits for the um, for the electric screwdriver. Uh, so, um, yeah, cool. But, uh, I don't know what that top bit's for. It spins, but I don't know why. Um, obviously, uh, you can um, take your electric screwdriver, put this in there, and then you can put another one uh, in there and another one in there. So you put your bits on, and it, you know, it'll uh, it'll give you uh, the ability to reach further with your electric screwdriver or your drill. Oh shit! These things uh, seem to lock. I wasn't expecting that. Oh wow, that's cool. So you actually have to pull that back to release it. So it, it locks in. That's great. And you pull back. That explains that. Well, I'm very happy with that. So, uh, yeah, those will come in handy. Not sure where I'll keep them. I guess I'll keep them with my drill bits, which is over here. I might actually just put them in this case. This is uh, this is my um, set of uh, drill bits. So there's no reason, I don't think, not to keep these with those. That looks pretty good. Ready for filing? What do you reckon? All right. Now we've got another tool here. This is... Oh, yeah, this is good fun. Um, this is just a magnetic pickup telescope thing. Now I've already got one of these, um, but this one's uh, sort of mid-range. So I've, I've got, um, let's see if I can find it here. Um, there we go. All right, so I've got uh, I've got this one, which is a, a pretty fine pointed, uh, rather small uh, one. And then I have a monster one, um, which I can show you. Um, I might actually just flip you over to the other view for this one. So this is my, uh, my big magnetic hook pickup tool. Now, obviously, this isn't telescopic, it's, but it is flexible and it can sort of reach around, but it's got the magnetic bit on the end. So in addition to my small little pen one and my long little non-telescopic one, I've now got this middle range one, which is uh, sort of longer than the pen one, as you can see. Um, so I've got three now, three um, telescopic magnetic pickup devices, um, each with a slightly different uh, form factor. So that should come in handy. Now, what do we got next? How about this? Oh, look, it's a bunch of little spudges and, and tools. I was really chuffed. I saw these for three bucks and I thought, how could I say no? Actually, everything I've been showing you today cost me about $3. It was so cheap. It was like, you know, 90% off sort of stuff. It was crazy. I don't know what AliExpress was thinking. Anyway, um, so here we go. We've got a, a whole um, uh, assortment of just like little little plastic tools. Like that, that little guy. They call these things spudges. They're just little plastic leverage things. I got a couple of uh, small screwdrivers. Those always come in handy. Um, I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> the opening tool. Professional. There you go. I'll pop him out. So he's just like a little bit of uh, metal for for opening things, as it says. <laughs> That's great. So it's got a little uh, sort of sticker handle thing, and uh, yeah, it looks like it can get in. T E O three. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? 
professional opening tool. So that's good. So let's sort these things out, huh? Well, we've got screwdrivers can go in the corner here, and then spudgers can go in this corner here. Uh, I've got a couple of those, spudger, spudger, spudger. This is a funny looking one. It's got two uh, little sort of grooves in it. All right, so we got, we've got uh, five screwdrivers. They're, um, uh, okay, they're not all um, screwdrivers. One of them is just literally a, a um, oh, maybe that's a screwdriver, hex screwdriver, very small one. And we've got a, a little thing for like spading stuff. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of um, suction cap, cups. Uh, I don't have any particular use for them, I don't think. We've got a pair of tweezers. Uh, Fair enough. I've actually got a whole heap of tweezers that are far higher quality than this, so don't really care about the tweezers. The spudgers was the main game, actually. These little plastic doodads on the side here. They're sort of like in different sizes, and sometimes they're just what you need. Um, so I've got a bunch of them over here now. It's a funny looking bit of plastic, isn't it? Yeah, all right. And these things. I call these things box openers because I really don't know what the correct term for them is. Um, so, some box openers, professional opening tool, some plastic spudgers, bits and pieces and some uh, screwdrivers. They're uh, uh, two, Phillip, two Phillips, uh, two very small sort of hexagonal ones, and a very small flathead. So uh, I'm going to put them over here. Might as well grab this out. I'm going to put them in here. Um, and actually, I might use this small little cup for, uh, for the, the smaller spudges here, um, just so they're easier to see. And uh, this one can go in there, and this one too. And those tweezers, I'm just going to put them up the back here uh, where I keep my tweezers. All right. Now, the box openers, um, I have a, um, a container for, so I'll just put those away now. All right. I've got a whole heap of box openers now. Um, <sighs> which is fair enough, I guess. Now, I'm not sure what this is. It's like another telescopic tool. I don't know if it's another magnetic one. It may be. Popping out of his bag. Now, what do we got here? Some sort of plastic on the head. Take that off. All right. Well, it's kind of heavy, this thing. Whatever it is, it's dense. Man, I'm fighting some static electricity here. I can't get the bit of plastic off. It just won't come off. Look at. Oh, there we go. I'll try and put him up there. There we go. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the magnetic pickup tool that has a built-in um, uh, torch, I believe. Ah, there it goes. Can you see that? Yeah, ripper. So it's a magnetic pickup tool uh, with a built-in uh, torch. So there's me picking up the uh, the screwdriver. It's telescopic. So can you see? It's telescopic and um, and magnetic, and it's got a light on it. <laughs> Isn't that great? You just turn it that way, the light goes off. Wonderful. I'll keep him up the back there as well. Um, that that uh, container up the back there started to get a bit full. I might actually put that guy over here instead. Now, onwards we go. So what's next? Got some, uh, what are these? Knife blades by the looks of it. So uh, are they just some replacement uh, blades for my craft knife? Um, so there won't be much to see here, just some blades. You know, razor blade kind of things for, for the craft knife. There we go, so you can see uh, just a little box full of blades. So uh, you can see there, they're, they're just, uh, can you see? Oh, actually, look, this thing's taped on. Let's try and copy them out of the, uh, out of the case. So we've got uh, just a little box full of, of sharp blades, can you see? Yeah, so um, I don't know why that went autofocus. I wish it would. I'm not real sure how to make it focus. Anyway, there's a, a bunch of, of blades for my craft knife, so plenty of those, that's good. I'll just file this. And then we've got more of our uh, heat shrink um, table joiners. Um, this one's a bit different to the other one. It's uh, It's got some um, black, just standard, normal heat shrink uh, in addition to the uh, the one that has the solder blobs in the middle. So it's not exactly the same as the other one, but it's similar. It's got the white and the red and the blue. It doesn't have the big yellow ones, and instead of the big yellow ones, it's got some just standard uh, black uh, heat shrinks. So that's good to have. And uh, I think we've got more JST connectors here. Are these JST XH as well? They may be. They are indeed. So this is just uh, another bunch of um, JST XH connectors, but as you can see, these ones go up into a much uh, larger uh, set of options. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It goes up to seven. 
uh, whereas the other one only went up to five. Uh, oh, that's a nice touch. They've given us some some little uh, heat shrink as well to go with the uh, thing. There doesn't seem... Oh, yeah, I was going to say there doesn't seem to be any crimp lugs, but they've got pre-crimped wire. So that's even better, isn't it? You don't have to mess around crimping on a wire. Um, you can just uh, just use the pre-crimped uh, wire. So that's uh, seven... It's probably six, five, four, and three, I believe. I'm not going to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So there we go, some more uh, uh, JST XH uh, kits. Now look at this. This is the top-notch four-piece mini hook and pick set. Three dollars on AliExpress. How could you say no? So I should be able to just pop him out. Yep. There's just a, um, a little sticker here, which is getting in the way. So we'll pop him off. Let's see if I can get him there. There we go. And then he should just slide out. Yeah, there he comes. Oh, is there a... Ah, oh, yep, there he is. There's a um, one staple. I thought it was surprising that there was no staples, and of course there is a staple. It's just here, and now it's out. All right, so this is our top-notch repair tools. Cool brand. All right, so we got a, a great big honking hook, and we've got a little, like, lever pokey bit. We've got a 90 degrees pokey bit and we've got a straight pokey bit. So if I need to do some poking, I've got all the tools I could possibly need. So where am I gonna keep these? It's a good question. I don't know, I'll keep them in here for now. Oh, I don't know, no, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll leave them here and we'll come back to them. In fact, what I'll do is I will leave them on this tray. I bought this tray on AliExpress, came today. It's, uh, it's just a, a little stainless steel tray for holding things. So it'll be a good place to leave my top-notch repair tools as we continue with this video. Now, oh, this is more spudges, but these things are enormous, great big honking plastic ones. So we'll just uh, pop them out of their thing here, a bit further. All right, so uh, it's just more spudges. And in fact, you could call this whole order of mine the spudges order. This thing's for um, leveraging out things. Just a, It's a lever with a little sort of a fork head, flat fork head, I guess you'd say, on the head of it. So I'll put them in the tool drawer. And then I've just got an assortment of plastic spudges. But these things are a great big honking ones um, compared to the little ones that I got as well. So uh, yeah, a bunch of options there, which is pretty great getting towards the end of our package here. So let's have a look at what's in this one. This, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's a center punch. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a, um, uh, I wonder what that, I mean, it's got a, it's a, it's got a, a retractable thing, but I don't think you use it. It's just a, yeah. So this is a uh, an IC pickup tool, so you, you can pick up stuff with it like that, you see? And I can pop him off, and I can pick him up. So it's just a grabber. That's pretty handy. I'm actually just going to keep him on the bench. Uh, I like having some tools floating around on the bench so that I, um, I, don't, I don't have to go looking for them when I need them. They're just on the bench. That's where they're stored. Okay, we've got some more um, uh, J, JST. Uh, does it say XH? I'm expecting XH. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've got some more JSD connectors of some description. I'll, I'll, I'll figure them out later and file them appropriately. And here we are. Last but not least, some more little tools. And uh, I don't think there's any blades on these things, so I'm not going to cut myself. Oh. Um, but they're just... Uh, oh, yep, yeah, they're, they're blades. Oops. Well, it's not really a super sharp blade. It's just a... Um, just a yeah. Okay, great. So, um, as you can see here, uh, just an assortment of, like... Uh, I, I don't know, could you call it metal spudges? Do spudges have to be plastic? I don't know. But these are just little uh, metal tools for doing stuff with. We've got some uh, angular ones. We've got some, some curved or bent ones. Um, yeah, so that's great. Pretty happy to have those. And that brings us to the end of the unboxing. So that was all of my stuff. Um, might as well finish the video over here talking to you. So, um, yeah, that was just a run through of the stuff that I managed to score on AliExpress recently uh, for like $1 in five. It was really cheap stuff. Uh, so I took the opportunity to get a couple of little natty tools and uh, and a couple of consumables such as those JST connectors and the uh, heat shrink um, cable connectors that I got. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll have another one up for you again soon and we'll do something uh, electronics and ex electronics-y and kind of interesting. I, I think actually um, the next video, I mean, don't hold me to this, but I'll probably be doing this. I've got this case and I've got this circuit board uh, and the circuit board I pulled out of my old... Um, uh, why can't I see there it is. I pulled this out of my old um, capacitor discharge tweezers. Uh, this this circuit is the circuit out of the back of here. Um, so I got myself a replacement because I, I tore this out of the other one and, and permanently damaged it. So what I'm planning to do, this is capacitor discharge, discharge tweezers. But when I put this circuit in this box, I'm going to put two terminals at the top. So I'll have uh, 
um, probes. I'll have capacitor discharge probes as well as capacitor discharge tweezers, and I'll be very happy that I didn't waste the circuit that I um, I, I got out of, I salvaged out of this thing when I did the tear down and, and permanently destroyed my equipment. So uh, yeah, that's probably our next video. But I also have a couple of other projects uh, to do, and you never know something might come up. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.